Good morning, everybody. <sighs> well, now that I'm on camera, let's do this. It's 6.25 in the morning. I'm supposed to be on the bike and out of here in five minutes. And truth be told, if there wasn't a whole bunch of time restrictions for the, you know, the whole plan today, I'd be like looking forward to this way more, but there are places I've got to be because I got people depending on me for most of the day. So today I'm riding from here in Kansas all the way to Colorado with a bunch of fans. And then I'm going to do a meetup there in Colorado. So like from right now, straight to then, people all day. And of course, more importantly, riding all day. So I got all my gear here. This is all that's going to go on my barray. And all of this has got to get on the bike. So I got to take that out there. I'll try to use this camera to record stuff every once in a while. I have my camera on here, but I'm really just going to use that as more of like a dash cam sort of a thing. I don't know that I'm going to make a moto vlog that's 8 or 10 hours long. But I'll try to make little updates with this, including when I get to Quick Trip. That's where I'm heading right now. That's where we're all meeting up. Uh, I'll try to record something right there before we take off. Oh yeah, and this is the good news. It's 45 degrees and raining. And it's going to be 85 later today. So it's a variancy of 40 degrees throughout the day. So I have, like an ogre, lions! Anyway, so I gotta, I gotta pack this up. I gotta go. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also not, because I know my butt's going to cry. But it's for the experience. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Today is the day. So let's go! Alright, every peoples. 7 a.m. I'm here. Mike is here. He came by just to watch. I'm, I'm a whim. <laughs> uh, and then Afshin is over there. So there's three of us. It's 7 a.m. We're supposed to take off right now, but he needs gas. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to join here. I am expecting people, some, to join along the way because they told me they would. I was expecting a max of 10. So anyway, um, we gotta take off here. I'll just get this camera out to record whenever I can. Wish us luck. It's, uh, oh, oh, what is it here? Hold on. It's 47 degrees. Uh, it's 1040. Uh, you know, this ride should not be this hard by way of being so darn cold. It's supposed to be hard because it's supposed to be physically exhausting. And it is, but mother of God, <sighs> we're all we're all dying out here. And by all, it's us three, and we got a guy along the way, Joseph. So we're gonna get. Well, I'm gonna get something warm in the store, guys. We have hot chocolate. A cup of warmth, bro. Let's look at the shivers, man. We're going like pretty fast out there. You know, it's 47. Misty, rainy. It's supposed to get up to 85 later, but it's just been miserably cold and yeah. So, anyway, got a cup of rejuvenation. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that crap out there. Crap, 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 crap. 47. Just put your hand in your neck sock. Where'd you come from? Abilene. Abilene? Was it like right before Salina? So was that was that an hour after we took out, or yeah? As I remember seeing a fourth bike, like ah, oh, you got you got some on the side of the road. I looked, I looked in my mirror, and all of a sudden he was there. I'm like, yep. When did he show up? <laughs> Let's drink at least at least half of our drinks. We need we need some more because we're gonna try to stop more frequently. And yeah, so we're gonna take off here like in a second. But it's just luck. It's. 12.20 and it's 52 degrees. Temperature is going up. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy some delicious nutrients. I'm sorry, uh, some delicious non-trients. That's what I call non-nutrients. And uh, yeah, we'll go back out on the road. That's your update. Made it to Colby, Kansas. Unless that's pee, it looks delicious. What is that? No, oh, it's pee. <laughs> He's not denying that it's pee. Off the bat like he should be. That looks, that looks delicious. Vitamins. Try it. It's good stuff. Drinks are good. Uh, we made it to Joe, Pat, David. David. So they were here waiting for us in Colby and they found us right away. And most importantly, the sun came out just when we got here, which is freaking great. So now, temperature check 57. But the sun adds 10 in my experience. So, you know. 
rabbit's totally behind us, totally, which is good news. So, yeet! All right, onward we go. The weather is so good, I took off two out of my four layers. You took off layers, everybody's taking off layers. Off layers. But of course, that was after <laughs> it being freezing, and after we were like, we're more than halfway done now. Oh yeah, weather. Always the same the weather. It is 76. Okay, this is our last stop. We're gonna go straight to the hotel, and guys, I got good news. If we leave in the next five minutes, we'll get there right at 5 p.m. when we're supposed to. Whoa. So we're actually gonna make it. <laughs> go us. <laughs> we just made it. At least he shifted a few times. Go us. You made it right on time. Good yeah, job. Did. Way to go, gentlemen. Uh, sweet. Well, I gotta get inside, and then in an hour, there's gonna be more people here. So I will come back with that. I didn't record it. I recorded it on my. Instagram live stream at my hotel room apparently had a whole bunch of snacks and drinks waiting for me Which I didn't know about Which was amazing. I've never had that before. So I got some food and now I'm gonna go outside and I gotta move my motorcycle because it's on the side of the hotel that I want to put it in the back where it's more secluded because There's more room back there for people to park where I parked is not a lot of parking for motorcycles So I'm gonna get out, move it without shoes Yes. So I know all the bikes lined up here, but there's no parking, so I'm gonna go over there. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hey, man. How's your trip? It was, uh, you know, surprisingly good. We were like shot That's from, sure. from <laughs> holding my eyes open for so long. <laughs> this is everybody. Everybody say hi. Hello. So, in good fashion. People showed up afterwards, and then a lot of people have left. But there was actually a lot more people. It was closer to 50. But that are, all have just been gotten to, and so now other festivities and such will begin. I'm probably gonna go to food, I don't know, and if I do, I don't know if I can take the camera with me, but I'm just trying to record what I can. So now it's time to go around and make sure everybody has everything else that they need. I'm so tired. <laughs> Whose bike is this? I just touched it, I'm sorry. Okay. okay, he doesn't even notice. It's fine, it doesn't count. Oh, he did notice. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next, but this meetup was fun and good. I can't believe this trip is only halfway over. Anyway, I just packed. Camera goes in here. Um, that gear has got to go on my body. But uh, this second half of the trip should be better for a couple reasons. One, no time crunches, no timelines. We can take longer to get back home if we want. And more importantly, it's sunny and good outside. Unlike yesterday. Hopefully it stays that way. Uh, my bike is hiding. Right around that corner, way right there at the end. But that's it, and so yeah, I'm gonna put my gear on, check out the hotel, and we'll take off, and uh, hopefully the ride back goes smoothly. I'm looking forward to it, because for the reasons I said, I'm still tired. That's too bad, we gotta go. Anyway, let's go. My luck caught up with us. It's supposed to be beautiful today. It's supposed to be the nice way, and it's, I want to say it's worse than yesterday. I don't want to do that, but it's 47 again and no sun and it looks like it's going to be like that all day. <sighs> so it's rough all over again, but you know, we're going to make it back. It's my luck too. It's my luck like, hey, hey, hey were you enjoying life? We heard about that. <laughs> we heard about that. <laughs> Good news. Weather still sucks. Uh, we made it to Colby, which is not even a halfway point. Man, oh, what temperature is it? I'm not prepared to see this, but 47, of course. We had to get west yesterday's weather today, it's 47. So, anyway, these folks are going home. The group keeps getting smaller, and the weather keeps not getting better. <laughs> I should have out the whole way. Dropped my helmet, technically. Try to warn me, didn't even hear him, just slid right off of here. Boop. On the side of the helmet, the damage is super minimal though. Like, I'm not even worried. Um, it did unfortunately knock my GoPro off, which is kind of okay just because I wasn't using it, but it was more of a, I was using it more of a dash cam thing because I'm not moto vlogging this whole freaking 16 hours on the freezing highway. But by the way, it's 49 degrees, still below 50, and we're three and a half hours away from home now, which is 75 over there. But it's still below 50 here, and I don't know when it's supposed to go up, but it's probably not gonna be until like 20 minutes. 
we'll the biggest magical be, cold wave, and then it'll just magically get nice. We'll probably end up getting the Fort Riley, and that's when it's gonna heat up. I hope your jinx is gold. <laughs> no, I would have to guess so. Bro, it's that's my guess. All right, bad news. The weather is about as bad as it can be. It is 50. It's dark. I don't know if you can see that, but there is like mist blowing. The wind picked up. It's really windy, and there's just a constant stream of mist. I think it's already getting on the camera lens, but on the interstate, there's there's no light. There's no sunlight. The mist makes your visor always covered, and I have a tinted visor because I forgot to pack my regular one, so I cannot see. The cold isn't even the worst part anymore. It's absolutely dangerous and terrifying, so... There's very little chance I'm going to make it home tonight, regardless. I'm not going to leave the path anymore because I can't see where we're going. Um, man, that's sketchy and scary as heck, but I don't know where we're going to go next. But we got to get off the road because this, this is just really bad. I don't know if you guys can see out there. There's nothing. The interstate is out there, and that's where we're driving. It's absolutely terrible. Anyway, if I don't die, then... Uh, this thing is still going on. This was supposed to be the easy half of the trip. A weird adventure this has turned out to be. So as you saw, the weather sucked. We drove for another hour, half hour. We did another 50 miles from the last time. Yeah, we did, I'm, I know what mileage you did. I just can't remember how, how long we were out there. We were out there for a half hour. Yeah, a half hour after that stop. Stopped here in Salina. I'm trying to talk everybody into investing and living. So we all, we, all, we all want to go home, but like we also want to live. So I think we're probably going to go to a hotel. This is crazy. None of this is supposed to happen. It's supposed to be nice weather. It's supposed to be a cool cruise, but now I already feel like we have to redo the whole ride, but not tonight. Tonight we just got lit. So we're alive, but we'll see what happens. Probably the hotel. Joseph just left us before he did. He escorted us to the hotel that Machine got on his app and got a place for me to get a room. Mike is also going to get a room. <coughs> Machine has a clear visor. Neither of us have a clear visor. And he wants to go home the most. Fact. Also, your fiance wants you to go home more than you want you to go home. But Fact. Yeah. That's that's the number one. So now he's gonna split off. The journey will continue for both of us. But in the morrow. In the morrow, yeah. And we'll talk about what time we're gonna leave, but probably early. Because he's oh, he's, all, he's all the way to go. Quick. Morning, are you comfortable people in your beds? It's six forty five. Um, we're about to put all this stuff in my helmet. Just packed up. Gotta get out to the bike. We're leaving at seven. And it, the weather is like exactly the same it looks like. It's 58 and misty and cloudy and cold, but at least there's some light, so it's drivable now. So Mike and I are gonna swing by the breakfast bath, and then we're gonna take off. And we'll, we should be home in two and a half hours, so. I come downstairs, <laughs> and he goes, morning princess, I'm thinking, what, because I'm down here five minutes after you? And he's like, what did you say? 7:30 or at 6:30? I woke up at 6:30. He said, like, "I woke up at 6:30." He's like, "I woke up at 6:30 too." What's the big deal? And he goes, "Points." I'm like, "What?" He goes, "7:30." I'm like, "No, it's 6:45 right now." And he points on my watch. I check, and it says 6:30. And I was like, "That's right. My watch and phone didn't correct for the time zone thing that happened, which has never happened before, and I forgot that it was wrong. I woke up an hour late, and he was waiting a whole hour for me, and I feel terrible." Um, he tried to make me feel better by saying the sun wasn't even out anyway, it was still dark outside. No, there was no sunlight, so I was going to suggest waiting a little bit longer anyways. Okay, okay well, let's, let's get on get. Got donuts, got drinks, but most importantly, we got some, look at that, like some, 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 we both discovered our English has failed. <laughs> that! Our, our, our brains are from <laughs> that big glowing ball. That, oh. <laughs> that, and it's uh, not raining. And it's like 68 degrees, so it's actually fine. The ride through the Flint Hills was good. One more stop to go, and that is the creek trip we started off at, and Afshin is gonna meet up with us on the way back. Yeah. So we're gonna see him again, and then... Okay, yeah, we're so close. Yep, stretch, just like he said.
What's up, fam sauce? How was your ride back last night? Awesome? Well, that's good. As soon as I got out of Salina, it heated up to like 67. Here we are at the end of our fellowship. This is where we started. This is where we're leaving. You still have to go to Chicago. Chicago? Chicago. And you, like, aren't very far. No. Can I be weird and ask for a group hug? Alright, no hesitation. That's all I like. Thanks, guys. It was badass. Hey, bye, guys. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> I made it. I'm home. My bike is in its home. My McJeep is in its home. And I should say that I have something right off camera here. It is a big surprise I've been waiting to announce, but I've been too busy because I've been gone. But just off camera is my surprise that I want to reveal on Monday, so watch for that. But I made it. I'm gonna go inside, take care of Ronan's poop, and shower and stuff, and then I get ready to deal with that. Because I'm, I'm already, I'm, I forgot I had, let's just not, let's not talk about that. The ride was awesome, despite being hard. I really, despite how hard it was, I actually had a good time. And I really am looking forward to doing it again. I'm probably not gonna do another big ride until next year, because weather's just gonna get worse from now on. Um, but it was awesome. Thank you so much personally to Mike, first guy to show up, and then Asheen, who's the second guy to show up, and then Joseph who met us on the way, and there were several others, several others of you who met us further on and at the meetup. Thank you guys for coming. I'm still gonna be traveling to do these meetups, not rides, but these meetups, so. I did this because I wanted to, I've wanted to for years, I wanted to do it for the experience, and I did it. And I enjoyed it, more than I thought I would. And most surprisingly of all, my butt never hurt. This bike is awesome, I do love this bike. Okay, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this really weird video of me recording myself over and over again. What a strange, interesting trip. What an experience. Okay, that's it. I'll see you on the surprise video or on other videos. See ya. Bye.